What it do, my slow peoples? What's good? What's good? Okay, this video here is going to be a reaction video. Yeah, so I'm going to literally watch it. And as we watch, give my little feedback here and there. Hopefully this wouldn't take too long. Yeah, this one is called I Hate Gyms. It's your fault that I'm fat. Yeah, Channel 5 program, but it's only a snippet. So we're going to watch this and we're going to see what we're going to see. Yeah, intro. Come is a man. Come on. You're amazing. Fitness. All right, guys. So you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Yeah? Get me. It's your fault that this person's fat. Let that be known. And they hate gyms. Oh, just remember, you don't have to. You can work out at home, or you can work out outside too. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to go to the gym to get right. You just need to get right. Okay, people. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. In a sleepy market town in southern Gloucestershire, Evie lives with her mum, Kirsty, and stepdad, Ash. At just 16 years old, Evie weighs 21 stone and six pounds. Kirsty weighs 20 stone 13, and Ash weighs 19 stone 10. Collectively, they are a staggering 60 stone. But the youngest person in the house shouldn't, shouldn't weigh the most. That's a bit. That's a bit much. You know what I'm saying? And she's 16. She's a baby. She's a pup. You can tell by her face. Look at that little face. She's a pup. I would describe myself as fat and obese. It frustrates. Good. See. Okay. She's not delusional, right? She's not delusional. Maybe the, the title of the video was just to get us in. She's, she's not mad yet. Let's, let's see, let's see. It's me, how big I am. I hate my body. I've got like really bad bingo wings and all of this, it's just fat. I don't like my massive thighs. I can't front, those thighs look good in jeans. I like thick thighs. You know what I mean? The, the old bingos, as a lot of women like to say, need to get rid of the, the bingos. Uh, I can understand that, but she doesn't look as big as she did in that when they then they did that that first scene in the in the front of the house. You know what I'm saying she's not as you know what I mean. My cheeks are so chubby, and how I've like formed the double chin in the past like three months, or how my stomach sticks out so much, and how like, wide I am. I can't properly see my toes. I'm just so far overweight, especially when I'm only 16 years old. And if things don't change soon, the weight will keep piling on and on. That plate was way too much. That looked like a good shepherd's pie though, but that was way too much. Anyone want any more? Yeah. yeah. I've always been overweight from a young age. There wasn't a time in my life where I remember being skinny. I was always podgier or chubbier than all the other kids. And over the years, it's just increased, like I've just got bigger and bigger. Large portions aren't all Evie's developed an appetite for. She's also inherited her mother's sweet tooth. Look at the size of that doll. Like, come on, that's two. That's two. And, and I'm talking about, I'm someone with a sweet tooth. That's two. What she cut in, you cut that, you cut that again in two. You can have the first one, let that go down. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that everyone... If you're listening, you're gonna be like, well, you're still having the whole thing. Yeah, but not like, not straight through, man. Like, Jesus Christ, or you cut that, have that today, and then have the other piece tomorrow. You don't, it's, it's too much. It's too much. And that's, for, I'm a sweet tooth, that's too much. We're like a pudding family. We always have a pudding, cheesecake, chocolate, ice cream, sprinkles, whipped cream, sauces. <laughs> <laughs> Now come on, like we don't even you see with stuff like this, it's easy. When it's like medical problems and stuff within the body that's like not letting you lose weight, then alright, cool. But come on, we're a pudding family. Like right, the cheesecake, that's one thing. That's your afters, and you're done. It's a wrap. No, there's chocolate, then there's ice cream, and look what's being poured. Look, look at that marshmallows and stuff. That's not like, that's not a two scoop. Like, come on, man, come on. Almost looks like a super deluxe, yeah. one of those big, like, Sunday things you have when you go out. <laughs> Been waiting for the dessert all day, haven't you? Their mega desserts have become something of a family tradition. 
I don't really know where it's come from, do you? You. It's not from me. See, everybody blames me, but they've all got to take their own responsibility. She's trying to give us food because she wants to make us happy. Yeah, that's what makes us fat. I'm not saying it's her fault, but it kind of is. Oh, so the it's your fault is it's mum's fault. And she can take a percentage of the blame, but even as mum said, you got to take responsibility for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you owned a sweet shop, would you not be having, your business would be done then, innit? Because you just sit there and wax up your thing. Nah, man. You don't get high on your own spla. You know what I'm saying? But mum is a little to blame. But that's what mums do. They feed, they feed you. You know what I'm saying? From when you was a baby, giving you food was what stopped you crying. You didn't cry when you was good, which means you was full. You had me full changed and freshly cleaned you're good you don't need nothing clothes freshly clean your bum's been wet and you've had your bottle of milk or if you're a little older you've had your little porridge you had your little food you know what i'm saying happy baby chilling so why not keep going with that same playlist if that's what works you know what i'm saying it just takes once you become up here with it you know you, she's a from when she hit teens she knows she's a six she's 16 so she, she knows, well, go on. Mum isn't helping, dad isn't helping. But sometimes it's, it's not about, every can't be pushing the blame on everyone else. It's not about everyone in the house, it's you. You know what you should and should not eat. I don't like other people being around judging me. <laughs> I don't like gyms because, like, even if you're saying people aren't looking at you, I feel really insecure. And I don't. I hate when people say that too. People are looking. Everyone looks at everybody in the gym. No one does not get not seen. Get me? No matter what, the big person, the skinny person, the fit person, the super muscular person, everyone gets looked at. Everyone. The cleaner gets looked at. You know what I'm saying, making sure that they're hoovering up right and like doing the floors right because you know we got to work out there so you don't want to step and bust your face so you got to look everyone gets looked at and everyone gets judged and it's not a like everyone gets judged like simon cow type thing it's everyone gets judged like everyone gets judged outside like it depends on how you're judging if you're judging just by looking and keeping everything up in here then that's fine with me because that's what people do that's what humans do you have to judge a situation. You see people walking down the street, you have to judge, yo, are they on something? Are they gonna do me something? You have to judge, you know what I'm saying? And when it comes to other stuff, when people say you shouldn't judge, they mean stuff like this, like you shouldn't judge someone on their weight, on their height or whatever, whatever. But people do. It's how you're going to judge them is the problem, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't say, all right, she come apply for, apply for a job and you're the manager you don't judge her on her weight that's got nothing to do with it you know what i'm saying unless it has something to do with it you know what i mean like you you're hiring models i guess on something like that you get me a size six and size eight and all them kind of stuff there then okay boom it makes sense but then you should put that in the job description you know what i'm saying but sticking to the point she doesn't want to be judged i understand that but you have to go you know what i'm saying you have to go. It's like if a child said they didn't want to be judged in a maths class. You still you have to go to school. You know what I'm saying? You have to go to school. And if you don't want to go to school, there's home. But someone's going to be judging you. Your parent teaching you or the teacher that they hire to teach you. Or you've got siblings. There's other people that's going to be judging you. Always. Always. It's just the level of judgment. Thank <laughs> you. Bless her cotton socks, man. Come on. Do you like me? You haven't got any confidence no. at all. It just stops you from participating in loads of things. But you know, once we've got our confidence out, you'll be walking through that door and you'll be raring to go. You've got to try it. You give it a go. The first day, the first step is always the hardest. The first day is the hardest. You're gonna go in there and you're gonna see professionals like myself. Trust me, the love is in there. You get me? I know a good few big people that go gym and they're in there happy as Larry. 
You know what I'm saying? No, they can't do like super jumps on the plyo boxes, but so what? They can step on the, they can step on one level behind the big. They can do something. You can do something. That's all that matters. Anyone that anyone in the gym that want to judge you and be like, ah, you shouldn't be here, and you're too look at you. Da, 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 da. They're the clowns. Get me? They are the clowns, not you. It's there for you to be healthy. Go in there and get healthy, man. Get me? This hurts my heart. I don't like this. You know what I'm saying? These are the people that make gyms. These are the members that we need. These are the people that push fitness forward. When you see someone like this is making a change for themselves, this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? This is what it is. Sometimes it annoys me sometimes. I can't lie. As a personal trainer, self-employed, you'll be like a normal person her size. Yeah, start a channel and bear love, bear likes, bear subscriptions, bear this, bear that, bear that. She's not qualified, but because they can see someone is making a change, they don't give a damn about someone who's tight and right telling them what to do because they think that we don't understand the struggle. You know what I mean? But life. <laughs> I've only ever been to a gym once in my life and I never went back. <laughs> so I totally get where you come from. I think I hate gyms as well, but I just want to like change our lives for the better. No one said it's going to be easy. We know it's not going to be easy, but if I can do it, love, you can. I was quite upset with how Evie was and reassured her that we're going to be doing this together. You're not going to be on your own. I'm going to be here by your side, supporting you 100%. If nothing else, we've got to give it a go, haven't we, yeah? Yeah. Come on. Loving the mum right now. Loving the mum right now. She's up here. She's up here. She knows she ain't helped with her food, but she's there with her daughter. You understand? I don't know if that's dad or stepdad, because he ain't saying too much, so he might be stepdad, or he just might be a quiet person, but he's there too. Get me water bottles in hand. We go get this done. Love this. In my head, I overthought it. I think I might have just got too anxious. I needed a moment to think to myself, you know, what I'm actually doing. But I would definitely say that it was quite frightening for me, just doing that first step. Having plucked up the courage to enter the gym, Evie and her family are put through their paces by trainers Dan and Jade. What we're going to do is a three-minute step test. This is going to help me test your cardiovascular fitness. Mum and Ash are up first. The three minute step test involves stepping up at 96 steps per minute on a 12 inch step. Physically struggling to my leg up. And at the end, we record their heart rate. So that lets me see what kind of fitness level they're at and what things I'm going to be able to program for them, what's going to be too easy, what's going to be too hard. Kirsty's post step test heart rate was measured at 126 beats per minute. For a woman of her age, it should be 118 and Ashes is only slightly lower at 120, putting them both in the poor category for their age and gender. I was very surprised actually at the shape they were in and their fitness levels are incredibly low. All right, she must be just saying this for, for the camera because you, you know from the get-go, you know what I'm saying? You just know, you can see that. I know that I saw power lifting at the top of the outside of the gym, so. A lot of some powerlifters are just big in it, naturally big, and they are actually fit. But I'm sure that they probably struggle with with a step challenge and all that. You know what I'm saying? That can that's not just weight. There's some people, skinny, some skinny people that can't handle that. You know what I'm saying they'll be folded same way. It's not all about the weight. Not always. We've got a lot of work to do. Ready, Evie? So I didn't want to do that. They don't want to do anything. You got to yeah. give everything a go. Working in the gym is going to get your cardio fitness better and get your heart rate down, so it's all going to benefit all of us, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. No. yeah, see, she can't, you can't go into the door. You, you're in now. You can't be in there and then be like, oh, no, nah, I don't want to do that. Like, what do you mean? This is, this is nothing. This is just to see what I'm going with you. You know what I'm saying? You can't be, I don't want to do this. Because then you're not ready for nothing else. This is, you're by the door. Literally, you're by the door. This is the second step. You got in now. You got, you, come on. Come on. Nothing to be scared of. You can do it, OK? You can do it. Come on, if I can do it. Although, as well, I have to say this. As a man with children, it's, people will just assume saying, oh, no, you can do this. It's OK, you can. 
he has to get up here first. You get me? He has to get up here first. So maybe, as I even say to my missus, baby steps to the gym. Uh, she goes to the gym. She's been to the gym with me. I've taken her around, showed her a couple bits. But it's baby steps to the gym. Her thing is, it's the confidence to be in there. You know what I'm saying? It's the confidence to be in there by yourself. Baby steps. First home workout. Then go outside. Get me? There's more people outside than there is in the gym. Outside. Once you lock that down and you're good to step into the gym. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that that's the only way. You can just start at the gym. Ain't no problem. You know what I'm saying? You want to jump in in the middle? Boom. Do that. Do that. I'm not saying don't, but if it's like a fear thing, you get anxiety and all that, baby step your way. Because once you're comfortable doing a workout, then you'll be comfortable doing it outside and you'll be comfortable doing it anywhere. Because outside, you can't get more eyes on you than outside. There's cameras looking at you, crying out loud, CCTV, there's everywhere. You're being watched. So you take that and then you go backward with the sight and being watched phase, going to the gym. Now, these few people doing their thing ain't no thing. And you could probably look back at them like, Get me, what? What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Let's work. A lot of the time we've tried to start something like this, but we've just not been in the right frame of mind. One, two, three, four. You can see her smile. I'm smiling because she, she had a little smile there, but it was more of a nervous smile. But I just like when people smile when they're working out, when they, they, they know Come on, like this is about to do something within you. You don't even realize. Let's work, man. Three, two, one. Cause cool. take a seat for me. Let's do that pulse. Find that hard? At near the end, yeah. Yeah. Okay. After Kirsty's and Ash's poor results, will Evie's be any better? How'd you find that? The last 30 seconds, I can find myself like really getting out of breath. So your result was 150 beats per minute, which puts you in the very poor category. Mm. <laughs> but don't worry, because you're in the right place. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a lot better next time. Yeah. Cool. Good work, everyone. Well done. Evie's results were actually the highest out of the whole family. Her heart rate was 150 beats per minute, and we're looking for anything around 100 to 110. So we're. Well, that's duh. She's the heaviest in her family. Like it's kind of obvious, really. 40 beats over where we should be. I think she was expecting it to be high, but I don't think she was expecting it to be quite that high. So I think it's a little bit of an eye opener to the work we've got to do. Six weeks ago, Ash weighed in at 19 stone and 10 pounds. There's that, and then let's see what it says. Eighteen five and seven eight. Woo! That's amazing. Ash has shed one stone and four pounds, weighing in at just under eighteen stone six. Pleased yeah. with that? Yeah, you should yeah. be. Yeah. It's just amazing what you can achieve when you focus your mind on it. Come on, girl, what you got? At the start on, of the diet, Kirsty weighed twenty stone thirteen. What do you think of that? It's really bad. Have six weeks of smaller portions, long walks, and gym sessions paid off. That's good. That's good. To it. Right, ready, That's guys? Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, oh, oh, my God. What's that? 19, 5, and 7, 8. Ooh. That's amazing, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh I can't believe God. that. I never, ever would have thought you could lose that much in six weeks. I know, it's bad, isn't it? I think I'm actually in shock. Kirsty has smashed it. Losing a stone and a half, she's gone from 20 stone 13 to just under 19 stone 6. Come if you had said to me six on, weeks ago, family. this is where Come you're going to be in six weeks' time, I would not have believed you. <laughs> you want to do a little dance now? <laughs> it was just Come a really, really great Come feeling. On. I feel better than I have done in many years. <laughs> <laughs> I feel amazing. Yeah. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Right, enough with the feet, man. Come on. Finally, it's the moment 16-year-old Evie has been waiting for. Come on. She from struggling to already. even enter a gym, to working out twice a week, from eating too many calories, 
then too few. It's been a journey of highs and lows. Go on then, Evie. Six weeks ago, she weighed in at 21 stone and six pounds. Oh How do you feel about that? It's not very good, is it? Come on, we've got to be 21. Evie has lost a lot of weight. Um, she noticeably looks slimmer on her hips and her waist. Hips look, I mean, thighs look great. What is it? 1912. Boom! Wow! wow. Amazing! Nice. One stone, eight pounds. Can I just say, I have to just say this off the bat. There's no way that all they had to do was half those, half those plates. You get me? You could still eat every meal. Like, you have your starter, your main, and your afters. Just literally half that, man. Just half it. Because that's in you. Think. That's in you. You half it. That's half that's there. And you're working out. And you're going for long walks. And you're playing sport. Behave, man. Wow, it's amazing. Evie's lost the most, dropping an incredible one stone and eight pounds. In just six weeks, her weight has plummeted from 21 stone six to 19 stone 12. Look at her, man. She's a cute woman. Well, girl, she's 16. I keep thinking she's a woman because of her size. Look at her. She's cute. She's cute. Get me? Kick those thighs. Make this slimmer. You're going to have problems, man. Get me? Daddy, stepdaddy, you're going to have problems. You have to come outside with a bat. Get me? There's going to be a cue. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. 12 pounds. How did that make you feel? Amazing, right? Yeah. yeah. I wanted to be in the 19 stone where I've got that. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I've reached my goal at the end of the six weeks and I'm feeling really happy that I'm 19 stone 12. You can That's it. Let's stop it right there. Well done. Well done to that whole family, but because it was based on the young girl, salute to her. Hard work pays off. Hard work pays off. Sacrifice pays off. You know what I mean? Just going in gym twice now, twice a week. That's not including maybe going to play a a game of badminton with mum and going for the long walks all adds up baby steps man baby steps but definitely most important is the food salute to her man i thought it was gonna be a gym bashing get me in blaming other people but you know they make titles so you can click on and watch get me but um i think that that was good that was good to see all three members of the family drop weight you know what I'm saying? Just keep going now. You don't stop. You keep going now. You know what I mean? The only time you can maybe have a little dip is you go on holiday, literally leave the country, or it's Christmas. But even then, be mindful of where you've come from and still, you can still enjoy yourself. You don't have to <sighs> get me can't breathe. I went my past weekend, I, since it was Friday to Sunday, Dogged out. I went to the Big Easy. If you know about Big Easy, yo. Just know this. I had the taster. The taster. My belly was... My, my belly was... Was that. I was like this. I got photos of me in the restaurant like this. Like, folded. Had to take a doggy bag home. It was too much. You get me? I literally ate until... You know, you know your limits. I know my limit. I was like, right, full, belly's rounded. I'm not gonna eat till till sick. Took the rest home. Later that later that night, still bagged some. Next day, still bagged some. You get me? Now I'm paying for it. It hurts to work out now. <laughs> it hurts to burn that all off, but I'm doing it. You get me? Jumping on the bikes, working at our home. You know what I mean? Going back to the gym tomorrow. You need it, you need it. So again, salute to those three, big them up, you know what I mean? Not too fond of the title, Channel 5, but it's what it is, isn't it? You gotta get heads to watch your program. But that is the end of that for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, share, all that good YouTube stuff, and I will see you on the next video. Don't forget, look out for the workouts, man. They're coming, yeah? All right, see you. Boom. What's up, people? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. What's good, y'all? It's Jazz the Rapper, and if you're looking to tone up, make some gains, transform the biggest muscle in your body, the glutes, aka 
the ass ladies. I got the perfect person for you, an online trainer, Karma Monero. Follow him now at Karma KVP, K-A-R-M-A KVP. I heard his clients call him the Glue King, so I mean, you got to know what you're doing. And his slogan is, be better than yesterday. Who don't want to be better than yesterday? So create those summer bodies because summer bodies are created in the winter. Follow him now. And what is it? Camp what? Camp Slew. It was Karma Monero when you met me. Karma Monero when you left me. Karma Monero when you came back. The best way to